And I've returned to Borough Park, 13th Avenue, where I'm campaigning. I just did an interview with a very influential Hasidic newspaper, Mr. Friedman. He was so good, he asked me a panoply of questions. But I'm trying to convince some people here who voted Republican for the president the last time, Donald Trump, to vote for me. And they're saying they don't trust the way the vote is tallied. So I got Joseph here. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. I got to convince you. First of all, let me give you my card. Would you please, even if it's the last time you vote, would you vote for me for mayor against Sarah Gavin, Joseph? Okay, so we got a convert. Joseph is going to do it, as we would say in Italian, Jews have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wait a second, here you go. Campaigning in Borough Park. Uh, please, you please. Here you go. A safety, New York City, please. That's right. See, this is the kind of reception that I get in Borough Park, because I've earned it over the years. I've been here for the Jewish people when they've been under attack. Courtesy of the Guardian Angels. On uh, October 26th, ABC TV will have the debate for one hour, seven to eight. So I'm ready to take it right to Eric Adams. And this is the question I'm going to ask that the media and the Jewish leaders themselves don't ask. What was this love affair you had with Farrakhan years ago? Why did you support the Nation of Islam? They're the worst anti-Semite, hates whites. Hate hates every Why would you even be associated with them? And he hasn't renounced them. So I'm going to force him finally to address that issue. Well, yeah. I did ask him. I actually did. And he, his response at the time was, I did not support Farrakhan. I supported his uh, bringing like guardian angels. Same idea. It was high crime. He had an initiative to bring down crime in, in the neighborhoods. And he used that. That's what he well, said. Well, you know, Hitler uh, had his initiatives to bring down crime in the neighborhoods. It was called the brown shirts. How do you separate the message from the messenger? So Farrakhan hated white people then, hated Jewish people then. His followers hated white people, hated Jewish people then. They didn't suddenly have a sort of a uh, cathartic response and say, no, 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 I follow Farrakhan, but I don't follow his hate speech. Come on, Eric Adams, fess up. You would not have supported the brown shirts because they said, hey, look, we patrol the streets, there's no crime. Nation of Islam, come on, guy, fess up. When you mess up. Every time you turn on the news, there's something they have to say. There's a killing, there's a shooting, there's a mugging, there's, there's going into Louis Vuitton store, they're breaking the window, they're running out with bags. Oh. It's all out. They say, Dad. if you need something, steal it. They Three out of every four of the shootings go unresolved. So here, you have Gonzalez, who's the DA in Brooklyn. Right. Somebody gets caught with a gun, a loaded gun. They go to remediation. They don't go to jail. Right. And Eric Adams supports this yeah, guy, Gonzalez. That's, that's they're another like, problem. They're yeah. like, that's, that's crazy. Reform. You get caught with a gun, a loaded gun should be mandatory year in jail. I don't care if you're 16, 17, yeah, whatever. You should not the pay the consequences. Yeah, otherwise you're going to keep doing it. Fair de Blasio promised when in 2013 when he won that if I win, I'm going to visit Borough Park 100 times. That's what he said. He only came, I think, twice. We put him in the map. I think he came maybe twice. How many times would you come back? There's only one other place he's visited less, Rikers Island. As you know, he only visited after four years. I'd be here all the time. First for my slice from an aunt. Because, you know, I get hungry all the time. And then I'd be touring the street. And then I'd want to schmear on the bagel. That's very important. So give me a realistic number. How many times? Because usually a person wins, we never see them again. Month. Once At a least month. once a month. Okay. You know, By the way, would you also hold meetings? Giuliani would have meetings once a month. Yes. Every borough with the commissioners and the people can open to the community. Would I you would, do something like that? I would like do that? it on a Sunday. Because everybody's out on the streets on Sunday, 13th right. Avenue. I get my schmear first, you know, on my cup of coffee, then I come to a nonce, I get my slice of pizza, town hall meeting, we go the whole nine yards, we get a catering hall, we fill it up, and then I don't speak, I listen. I listen, you know, the politicians come in. By the time they're finished, can I ask a question? No, no time, you gotta go. What time are you going to wake up in the morning? De Blasio is 11 in the morning. Oh, what time do you wake up? 4.30 in the morning. I, I got to remember, I got 17 rescue cats. <laughs> if for any reason I sleep past 4.30, they're, waking they're up. on me, they're licking me. Where, where's my food? Where's my food? I've been riding the subway every day. No, nobody has ever done that. That's what I've been doing since I was five years old. The LL train, the lousy line we call the Rockwood yeah, Parkway yeah, Canarsie. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I was five years old, I've been riding the train by myself. This is what my grandmother told me, amongst other things, all right? She says, these beans, the musical fruit, the more you eat, the more you chew.
The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat beans at every meal. Exactly. And I was taught beans, beans, the more you eat, the more you fart. No, no, beans no, is good for your heart. No, oh, that's right. You see, that's why I would special ed a little bit there. A little school out. A little that's what happens when you think uh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in Williamsburg, whenever I'm in Williamsburg, yeah. they give me chulin. Chulin, chulin. 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 They, they love chulin there. Yeah, they love chulin. Very good. Well, thank you, thank you. Hey, one 13 years ago, there was a big issue, really. I mean, the city was really, I mean, uh, turning over. The big gulp. 13 years later, what do you think is... Uh, <laughs> it's amazing that you might have not been able to have this in Anand's and other places. 7-Eleven, uh, uh, 64 ounces, which I used to live on each and every day when I was broadcasting at WABC, always broadcasting Curtis. And that was the big issue. And actually, a little too much salt on eggs over. Yeah. Would you now, ever have thought 13 years later, crime, defunding police, education problems, homeless problems, EDP problems, Rikers Island, bike lanes, bus lanes, traffic. I mean, we go on and on. It's no, like the city is a mess. Bloomberg, Fiscal crisis. Bloomberg would say, don't drink Coca-Cola because you could get diabetes, right? Now you get lead poisoning from, from all the bullets that are being fired. You know, it's not the shot, the vaccine, it's getting shot that's the problem in the streets. We've gone full circle. We've gone back to the days of David Dinkins. When there were 2,000 murders, 5,000 shootings, most of them unsolved. We're moving in that direction, El Rapido. I've never seen a descent this quick. Before, it was a slow descent. Now, it's a rapid descent. And who's responsible? De Blasio. He walks around Greenwood Cemetery two hours a day. He's going... I mean, two, who has two hours a day to walk around a cemetery and talk to dead people? How about talking to living people, de Blasio, the people who pay the taxes that you screw over each and every day because of your decisions?